You guys got whiskey? They just like bark out of order. I'm serving customers and somebody will just walk in the door and be like, yo, oh shit, here comes the VIP. You know what I mean? Get the table ready. The overexcited waving isn't gonna help. Like you're not dying of thirst. If you go, hey, Ruddy, and I have to introduce myself to you as Ruddy, don't use my name. Who do you think you are? They'll wait, because they'll get to you. It's in their interest to get to you. And they know every fucker that's in the bar. That much I can guarantee you. Dirty little secret about alcohol. Most of it tastes like shit. But if you wait like five or 10 minutes after you drink, you feel a little better about yourself. It's not real. It's totally false. But man, it'll carry you through most of your life. Do not wave your hand in my face. Tapping. Or like, yo, like yelling at the bartender. Do not snap at anybody. Please don't wave your dumb fucking smile in my face. If I'm turned around on the register, that's not the time to be like, hey, six vodka sodas, one with a splash of cranberry, one with pineapple. You're gonna get your drink. That's the only reason I'm here. You literally had to pay me to hang out here so you can get drunk. What I don't like is when people just don't know how to order. He's like, uh, do you, what kind of elderberry liqueur do you have? No, I got none of it. The guy's never had a good drink in his life. I look around and it doesn't look like I know what I'm doing. I'll have a pint of Guinness, because I know ultimately that's what I drink. Let me get beer. What fucking beer, you know what I mean? We got like 25. Let me, let me get a shot, like, okay. I've had people come in and ask me if we have vodka. Nah, we're, we're just a bar that doesn't have vodka. Long Island iced teas, much like Red Bull and vodka, have a bad rap. It's not that they're so much difficult to make, it's just what happens afterwards is the problem. If you're powerhousing through like six Long Island iced teas, like that is terrifying. I used to chug a Long Island iced tea to get ready for my shift. Cleaning up after people to drink Long Island iced teas is not my favorite thing to do because it usually involves buckets of water and bleach. There's something magical happens when you step behind a bar. Girls that I would never even consider hitting on have been have given me their phone numbers, caught me out back when I was smoking and tried to make out with me. It's cool. Getting it on in the bar business is an occupational hazard. I've had somebody offer to give me a blowjob in the alleyway. I get tons of bears hitting on me. Big gay guy who's covered in hair. Sometimes I get like kind of pulled into like, oh yeah, kind of cute. And then I see them get shit faced. I'm like, oh, this is why I'm single. Don't like come to my door guy with like a million papers and a photo of something that you think might get you in. Like your college ID is not gonna work. Like, I'm sorry. I'm 25. Oh shit. You know what I mean? You're getting up there. Fake IDs? Come on. Really? I mean, I'm doing this 25 years in the city. You know fake IDs. I remember I had this one kid. He called his mom on the phone out front of the bar. He's like, Mom, they won't let me in the bar. They think my ID's fake. So we go and get a balloon tie the kid's fake ID to it and come out front of the bar and we're like, yo, my man. When the thing just goes up in the air right in front of his face. That was a good day. If you leave me fucking 50 cents on the bar, you're gonna get it back for me and I'm gonna say some not so nice things to you. If you're having three drinks and you leave me two and you wanna bend my ear for 45 minutes, something's wrong here. I feel all dirty. Even if it's a cheap beer, you're expected to tip a dollar. You're not spiting the man by not tipping us. The only person that you're hurting is, is us. Easy, dollar per drink, a couple dollars for a mixed drink. If you're running a tab, tip 20% on top. That's pretty much the, the main do. Do tip. Yeah, there is a time when not tipping is okay, when you're not here. Learn how to tip appropriately and act like an adult. And if you can do all that, maintain yourself, if you can not throw up, and if you can leave this place pretty much like you entered it, we'll always have you back. <laughs>